here, but you probably do that. He's not doing media in general. Well, right, but something like that. Yep. Yep. So if he comes up to you, remind me like a couple days out. Okay. Yeah. 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 If it's a one game, do it. My best guess is he would. Yeah. Is it a one game? and seeing how guys are playing me. So, um, I'd say it's it's easier coming off the bench, um, sort of seeing like the first five, six minutes of the game, sort of reading the game flow. Um, but even starting out just...
if they've decided internally that the war is going to have power. Stein, he passes it back out. Little two man nice. game results in a three. He's used to, obviously, with his years in Denver and with the Knicks. So GR3 opens with back to back three. I think he likes that matchup when D'Angelo gets on. He thought he'd go by him. It's Willie Colley Stein. Delivery. Running the floor, just outworking everybody. Throw it up for the big man. Simons likes to call his Woo. own number and to watch. He got over there so quick and just spiked that one. Oh, beautifully. Force that miss, the lob to the pass, Animal. Got a little momentum now. One and they, they kick out, and he got past Scannamol. Had to go to it there. He's an animal. Made McCollum pass that pocket pass to Hassan Whiteside, make him take a tough floater. And the Warriors are on a roll right now. They just took the lead. Talk about momentum. He's talked about it. Portland Trailblazers have a lot of offensive rebounds themselves. And the main culprit is for Hassan Whiteside. Alec Burks, another three. It would have been a little less if he would have given me more like he should have. The corner three. And look at the dubs. Willie Colley Stein back in. Jamie Lee missing, and it's Spellman who tipped it in. If the Warriors can just put everything together, they would have these wins, but they're getting closer.